Garlic. Hello, it is Mike and Tess playing, and welcome back. Pokemon Fire Red version. Last time we got here to Route 21, and now we're fighting fishermen and yes. swimming, and our butterfly's still sleeping. That's the important part. Seepins! Also, it does seepins. <laughs> also, we had a <laughs> tangle that just take forever to be caught. Seriously, he wouldn't go in the ball. He was like, ah, big love. <laughs> Every time he came out, it like, it like, like hit his head. Like, what? Oh my gosh, what is it called when you do this? What is this called? And like, you do one of these, like a you hair, did a flip. hair flip. <laughs> yeah, I'm like trying to, like, I'm literally like, my hair is like up in a bun, and I'm like, what is this? What is this? <laughs> She's just waving her hand yeah. near her face. But anyway, every time the tangle popped out, it did like a hair flip, and it's like, oh. hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, that guy just said he was frustrated. Is From it not with me? Anybody. He hasn't caught a thing. Just uh, it's just a giant pool. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Trin. Why nope. are there no hidden items? This is frustration station. Because they would keep him company if there were hidden items. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes, yes, they would. Fisherman Nolan. Nolan. I'm so glad that Dennis has Brick Break now. Yes. You really did need a fighting type upgrade. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Zink, you get to fight more fish now. <laughs> I feel like there's someone in our party. We you know who we haven't seen in a really long time actually battle? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he was in, like, two, three episodes ago. I know, but all he does is swim around now. Yeah. It's like, I'm your starter. I'm supposed <laughs> to be in battle. He will be soon when he solos the next gym. I mean, what? Mwah? What? I like when Pokemon solo a gym. I think I find it amazing. Yeah, I'm kind of planning on it. Just for the next gym. He could do the next two, but uh, just for the next one. All right. Just, you know. And there he is. He's our starter. And you're right. He hasn't gotten enough attention. It's true. But he's our starter. And so, you know, Bolt, your time is coming. Your time is coming. <laughs> Got his Pokemon at sea. At sea. At sea. Swimmer Jack. With your, ooh, conveniently placed high-level Starmie. High -level Starmie. <laughs> I wish we had a Starmie plushie. I feel like it would be pleasing to hold. I agree. Like, I could just feel, like, my like putting your hand, like, between, like, the star mm -hmm. pieces to, like, hold yeah. it. I don't know. I feel like, kind of like a baby, but, like, in between the star pieces, I feel like in between, you like, your first finger and your thumb would really feel nice. Yes, but, but <laughs> Zink, <laughs> Zink at level 42 is trying to learn Smog. No. Let's show you the stats for Smog. Okay. Because these are the moves we're using nowadays. They're, like, high power. Quick attack has the, you know, moves first thing. Smog has 20 base power and 70% accuracy. That's horrible. Yeah, no, it's real bad. And uh, Flareon does not learn Flamethrower naturally. It's easily viable, which is why it didn't hurt his rating. Mm. But, like, why? why? Why not just learn Flame? That is the perfect level to learn Flamethrower. Yes. Like, this is the point at which you're like, all right, Flamethrower time. Yes. It's why this is the only game you should really use them in. Yeah, viable yeah. flamethrower makes them a lot better. Fair. Especially since it's available the second you get them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh but my gosh. Now it's Roland. We had a Nolan and now we have a Roland. <laughs> it's like it was put there intentionally. <laughs> also, I like that we drove Peck right around his spine. Yes. I enjoy that, that very much. Yes, that that makes my heart happy. It makes your heart happy. Mm -hmm. Aww, I like when things make your heart happy. I like when things make your heart happy. Aww, <laughs> gross. Now let's, <laughs> <laughs> now let's use all of the elements to destroy this jellyfish. Yes. Because yeah. <laughs> we're secretly evil. <laughs> we're secretly evil. Yes. Mike and I joke about that all the time. Like, what if we were secretly evil? And he was—he's always like, we'd make excellent villains. We would make excellent. I—I—I <laughs> I, I, I stand by it. Yeah. Who wants to be a hero anymore? Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Heroes. Ah, that boy. That's a. See, throw with your, with your. You know what? Pursuit. Pursuit. <laughs> ha! Ah. I laugh in the face of your attempts at doing things. <laughs> <laughs> Swimmer Roland. 
She's sunburnt. Ha! Good. Good. <laughs> Why are there never any hidden items? I don't know. I like that he can't see us when we're on shore. Right? But then we get onto. <laughs> He's in a triathlon, triathlon meet. meet. Why are you stopping the battle when? with that sprite? The glasses look like giant eyebrows, <laughs> and not like not glasses, but the goggles. <laughs> they look like giant eyebrows. I'll give you that one, sure. But not now. I mean, now they look like goggles. But when he's in the water, they look like giant eyebrows. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. <gasps> a war turtle. <gasps> war Except we turtle. haven't been seeing Bolt. You know. Nah, gotta nah, get our nah. turtle battle on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna break his brick. Oh? Protect does nothing but stall. <laughs> it has its places. Sure. Sure. This is not one of them, War Turtle. <gasps> you dare to bite us? I'll bite you. Even though it's weaker than nom, 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 nom. But wow. pride. Pride. <laughs> pride takes over sometimes. It's just like, why did I have to fight this thing? Yes. It's me, but smaller. It's me, but smaller. I'm beat. <laughs> but he has a bike and a marathon left. A bike race. Oh my goodness. And now we've arrived. Yay. We still did it. Still not yet. We're still on Route 21. Okay. Come on. Oh. Cinnabar. Did I add a D Cinnabar to that? Island. I said Cinnabar, but it kind of sounded like Cinnabar. Cinnabar. It's yes. Cinnabar. <laughs> yes. Cinnabar Island has many, many things going for it. And we Doesn't... finally arrived at it. We made it. We did. Which is why we're going to immediately leave. leave. <laughs> <laughs> we always do that. We always get places and then leave. <laughs> yes. Hey, we made it. Nope. Yes. It's just so we can fly here. Bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the first thing that we're going to do is indeed fly here. Because I'm going to show off something interesting. We already are here. Why would we fly back? There's a reason. The most famous glitch in all of Pokemon history. No, no, you made it sound like you literally were going to fly, like, just to the Pokemon Center oh. in this town. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. So, the most famous glitch in all of Pokemon history has to do with this man and Cinnabar Island. If you talked to this old man in Gen 1, only red and blue, because by yellow it had been patched out, and... Oh. Yes, the Tichi TV is ha helping. So he no longer in this game will show you how to catch a Pokemon. Yeah. Okay. But in the original Red and Blue, if you talk to him, let him show you how to catch a Pokemon and then immediately flew back to Cinnabar Island, then something interesting would happen. Ooh. The first thing that was interesting is that any he appears right there. Were... What? He appears right there. Or no. is that a different old man? It was a different old man. Okay. But this, the coast of Cinnabar, the eastern coast of Cinnabar on the right-hand side of the island, this little area had an issue in the original coding. So whenever you would talk to that guy and have him show you how to catch a Pokemon and then surf along the side of here, interesting things would happen. You could encounter Missing No or M. They are the most famous glitch Pokemon of all time. They had Sky Attack, Water Gun, and Water Gun, and sometimes another Sky Attack as their moves, and didn't really have stats. What they, they could look also like? glitches. Uh -huh. Like like it's just bars on a screen. That's cool. Um and actually we're gonna throw an image of Missing No up right now. Yes. So, you know, just because he's missing, no. He's the most famous Pokemon ever. Well, glitch Pokemon ever. So, what he would do is the item in your fourth slot? Sixth slot in your item match. I believe it was sixth slot in your item match. I haven't done this in like 20 years. It would multiply it by like 150. So you could get infinite rare candies, you could get infinite master balls, you could get infinite TMs, infinite nuggets, whatever you needed because it would always multiply it by a ton and just max out that item. So you could just use it over and over and over again. You could also do weird things, like you could go into the Safari Zone, then talk to the guy, then fly here and surf along the edge here, and Pokemon from the Safari Zone would appear on the edge of Cinnabar Island. It was a great way to help fill in your Pokedex. It did have a downside, however. Whenever you beat the game, you get a Hall of Fame, uh, and you can check who was entered into the Hall of Fame. 
uh, when, you know, as many times as you've beaten the league. If you did the missing no glitch, that would be messed up and could sometimes crash and even erase your game in extreme cases. So you could basically just never check on the Hall of Fame again. But since that wasn't something that people did all that often, it was basically a no downsides glitch that, you know, gave you almost infinite items. Um, and the glitch is still in the Virtual Console game. So if you have red or blue version in the Virtual Console and you want infinite rare candies and infinite Master Balls, you can still do the missing note glitch. It still works. I've tested it. Um, I mean, I only tested it the once, but, you know, and then I turned off the game because I didn't want to actually do it. I just wanted to see if it still worked. But yeah, you will still get, you know, multiple of an item. Uh, catching min missing no is... Odd. Uh, generally, you just want to run from him, but he can evolve into a Pokemon, and sometimes it'll be like a level 120, and then it won't really work, and it'll cause more issues. So I don't recommend catching missing though, but you can I mean, if you want to take the risk. And yeah, that's the most interesting glitch in Pokemon history, and uh, the most famous one that's because really cool. it, it just worked without anything else. Yeah. And um, yeah, and that's gonna do it for this part because that's the most interesting thing about Cinnabar Island. And we'll start actually surfing out next time. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time for more... Pokemon Firebed version!